In February 2022, women made up 46% of fully licensed drivers in the UK. Yet as it currently stands, there is no crash test dummy in the world representing the average female. And so it comes as no surprise to the fact that females are at a 47% greater chance of injury or death compared to males in a car crash. And more alarmingly, nothing is being done to address this problem at the moment. Crash testing is an expensive and difficult process, so virtual modelling is incredibly important in this industry. Yet the only widely available female virtual model is priced at £7,500 for a yearly licence. So I set out to address this great societal challenge at an international level by creating a model that comes at no cost implication with a focus on female data. One of the current safety features in a car to protect humans from crashes is the reactive head restraint. But this is reducing injury for males by 70% while increasing it for females by 13%. So it's very clear what needs to be done. Males and females need to be tested separately. They cannot all come under the same category and females cannot be represented by males as they are of an entirely different size and biomechanics to a male. Whiplash injuries, which focus on the head and neck, form the basis of my paper. So I created a simple model of the head, neck, body and car seat and from this derived equations of motion. These were implemented into code and I was able to vary key parameters such as head mass, body mass and seat stiffness in order to get different outputs of acceleration, velocity and displacement against time for the body and head. As it stands, the reason why males are experiencing less whiplash injuries than females is because they experience less acceleration for the same force. So in my model, I was able to vary these key parameters in order to find an output where males and females have identical responses and identical accelerations. And this was done due to the seat stiffness. It has the largest impact on the response of a human. And so by reducing the seat stiffness, you can make cars safer. This work is essential to car manufacturers. It can hopefully be extended to different parts of the body, focusing on different injuries and even to different modes of transport. Within the industry, it will be crucial to create the world's first average female dummy. And as my paper showed how important it was to test on both males and females, this will make a huge societal impact on the world. On an international level, these differences can make a huge change if they are implemented to car manufacturers.